hello welcome back to another video in this video i'll uh, show you one guide that is how you can um, request for id cards there are mainly three different types of card will be available in the Accenture. so how you can request at a time i'll show you the process okay so for this first you have to log in in the support.accenture.com slash support underscore portal so if you'll type support.accenture.com then uh, the support uh, underscore portal this will come automatically so remember that once you will get the your id card and password then only you can access this particular portal okay so that is why you need to log in with your accenture credential after that in the step two as you can see you have to navigate to the workplace service and support in the right side you will be able to see um, the workplace service and support menu item you have to click that from the popular link section you can select request workplace service underscore uh, slash support and the path will be you have to go to the support portal workplace service and support then you can click on the request service uh, works plus service and support this this one is nothing but one menu item okay after that what you can do in the uh, step 3 you will be redirect to a different page so you have to fill in the requester information for example you have to give the opener name so if you are logging from your uh, credential the opener name it will take automatically and it will be non-editable field if it's a editable field then you can give your first name dot last name or the id that you have uh, received from uh, the email uh, the for the login lap for the login of your laptop okay and then after that you have to select your location that means you can select the india over here the country name after that you have to give your valid uh, phone number so you have to type it again you can also update your mobile number in workday portal if it is required in the step four, uh, four what you have to do you have to give you the building name for example in kolkata location there is a different type of uh, location for example kdc 1a bc this type of location so you have to give that if you are in the another location for example bangalore pune or noida so as per that you have to give the location after that you have to select the category so here you can select the id card and then request new id card also there will be other options if uh, you want to change or something different case you can go to the same link and then you can select your reason but for the new joiner you have to select new request new card and then you can select the type of card so here you have to select all the type of card you will get a checkbox for example display id card uh, there is a says id card says id card is based on the location and the wallet id card so these three types of id card you have to select and note that for says id card you have to collect it from the assigned location so if you are assigning uh, if you are requesting it for from the kolkata location then you have to collect it from the kolkata location itself okay also other than this information you have to select emergency contact number you can give your father or spouse phone number for the emergency name you have to give an emergency contact number you have to paste and in the short description it will come automatically or if it is not coming then you can type that i am requesting for new id cards okay and after that uh, short description you have to upload the document for example your passport size photo so remember that the background should be white background and dimension should be 2.5 centimeter to uh, 2.8 centimeter in the height okay file size uh, file type should be jpg format or png format okay and the uh, ensure the employee id include your file name or 
uh, in some cases you can give your user id name that means first name dot last name in this format also you can uh, rename the file and then you can attach it to attach it in the attachment section okay and at the step 8 you can see acknowledgement declaration so you have to tick the checkbox that i have read and understood the above statement okay and after that in the next step you have to submit the request by clicking on the submit button once approved you will be notified when your id card is ready for the collection from the assigned facility okay so you will get their uh, location from where which location you need to and from which building you can select that so you had to go there i have to collect the id card here let's talk about some important points you ensure that your photo meets the clarity and background requirement otherwise a request may be rejected so that is why uh, make your photo a passport photo uh, in an efficient way so that uh, you get it in the first time it should not be rejected so that's why remember that white background is very much important and clarity of the image is very much important the next point check the notification on the good morning accenture for updates give your enterprise id handy when you are collecting the id card so when you will join the t uh, accenture then what happen uh, you will get a temporary id card for 30 days so within this 30 days time period you have to raise the request and collect it otherwise your temporary id card will be you will not get any access to visit the office so that is why within 30 days you have to do this all kind of process so if you have any question regarding uh, this uh, guide that i have discussed you can write it in the comment section okay and uh, why i am not sharing the screenshots over here because the screenshot and the website details are uh, for only internal purpose i should not share all those uh, screenshot over here uh, i would guide you through the screenshot but is that that is not uh, possible uh, for the security reason so that is why i am creating this pdf file and i am sharing it for, uh, sharing uh, the information from this pdf so i hope this was helpful if you like the video you can subscribe to my channel uh, for more information uh, related to this and other uh, you can visit my channel where i have given study material as well so if you have any question regarding uh, any light like related to this any programming language you can write it in the comment section i'll try to answer you as soon as possible so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye